Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, residents of Hot Rod City. If you're not a current resident of the city, then go ahead and down there on the bottom and click the subscribe button for content as frequently as I can get it up. I guarantee fast service no matter how long it takes. What I got sitting behind me is a car that used to be Andrews. I say used to be because I traded him the Soyesma. And I got this and some cash and he got the Soyesma. The trans in this thing slips and it's got bad gas. It's been sitting for right many years. I actually put the rear wheels and tires on there just recently. Those are like Jeg's brand drag or cast aluminum wheels. The front wheels uh, came off the Camaro, the orange one that we stripped. So they're getting ready to go on. I got all the lug nuts and everything right. Uh, this scoop's not actually attached. Let's see, so it's just on there for looks at the time. It may not actually end up going on there. This car comes equipped stock with a 110 horsepower 3.8 V6. This is the motor going in it. Drivetrain actually, whole drivetrain. This is a 3.4 liter V6 out of my 95 Camaro. Uh, you guys probably saw me pull it out in a previous episode. If not, you can go ahead and go back and check that episode out. That's uh, pretty neat because it's got to come through the bottom. You got to take it and drop the whole drivetrain out from the bottom because the cowl sticks out three quarters of the motor. So anyway, I've already started pulling off of this. I pulled the AC compressor off. I pulled the Y pipe collector off and I pulled off the drivetrain manifold. Two of the studs are broke off. This is the manifold that was on it. Isn't it so cute? Look at this. Like, this is my thumb compared to this little rinky-dink hole. Like, I can barely get two fingers in there. That is just the teeniest little thing ever. So, um, this motor is based, is uh, rated at 160 horsepower versus the 110. Shoot, these, these cars came stock with a V8, like a 307. That was only rated at 140. So, just putting this drivetrain in, not only do we end up with overdrive trans because it's a 4L60 behind it, but we're also going up 50 horsepower over the stock V6. But we're not going to stop there. I'm uh, taking this manifold off and taking the other one off so I can switch them. Put driver's side on the passenger, passenger on the driver because I'm going to take this Y pipe and find a way to get it back together and put a flange on it. We're going to put a turbo on this thing. Uh, we're not going for big numbers. We're going for daily driver stuff. Andrew wants to buy this car back once it's roadworthy. And I, given the fact that he doesn't make very much money, I'm trying to make it so he can afford the upkeep on it. If anything should go bad on it, he'll have the ability to fix. Uh, I found a way to be able to tune the ECU. I'm buying a laptop in order to do that. So, and like the turbo is just, we're going with a plain Jane T3, T4 hybrid from uh, eBay. Just whatever we can find, you know, $100 turbo. And I am shooting for 200 to 240 in the horsepower range. We'll see how it works out. Um, I'm going to have to get bigger injectors, obviously. So, but like I said, we're, everything we're going for is so he can afford to maintain it. And just to make a cool, neat choo choo car, you know. So, I'm going to get at it. Alright, I'm pulling the drivetrain out of the Cutlass. It's taking me a lot longer than it normally does to pull motors. Given the fact this one is 
wired in a way that is just ridiculous. It actually has like two wiring harnesses, one coming from the driver's side, one coming from the passenger side, and they all intertwine together. So I'm slowly taking it apart in order to get the wiring harness off of it. Uh, some of it I'm going to have to just pull the motor and hope for the best. I don't want to cut anything at this point just because I don't know what I might be able to use or what I might need or something like that. The carburetor alone had uh, like six different freaking connectors going to it. So, and then like the cruise control still got stuff hooked to it. So I'm just, like I said, trying to get it all unhooked. So I can fit the motor in it. I'm going to have to make motor mounts. Uh, I can't remember if these motor mounts were replaced or not. I don't think they were, but they're pretty inexpensive. So my plan is to... I'm going to just put a standard rubber mount onto the car and build something off the motor. It's the plan, anyway. They won't mount up because on the 3.8 is a... the rubber isolator is bolted to the motor versus the 3.4 is the isolator is... the rubber mount is bolted to the car. The clamshell's on the motor. So they're completely backwards. I don't necessarily want to solid mount the car, the motor, but I'm not against it. So I've already got the radiator out. Uh, the condenser's unhooked. I still got to pull it. Uh, that's not going back because he doesn't actually want air conditioning in the car whenever he gets it, so who cares? I think the only thing he's worried about is heat. So I got what I believe to be just about everything off of this. All the motor mount bolts are out, trans bolts are out. I still got some wiring left, but what I plan to do is, is as I can access it, just unhook it. With uh, everything taken apart, <clears throat> I'm going to hit the bay up with a power washer. Just because I don't want to be reaching down in here. The grease and grime and trying to fabricate stuff. So I pulled it outside, gonna hit it up with some of this uh, eco-friendly cleaner.